General, my home is right there across the Potomac, where you can see Arlington House from your front door. My family is spread all over this part of Virginia. If you invade the South, your enemy territory will be there, right across that river. And I regret to say the President's hasty calling up of 75,000 volunteers to subdue the rebellion in the cotton states has done nothing to ameliorate the crisis. It has only deepened it. I trust you're not being too hasty yourself, Colonel. This is a great opportunity for you to serve your country. My country, Mr. Blair. I never thought I'd live to see the day that a president of the United States would raise an army to invade his own country. Play it just for me. As the seasons change, remember how I used to be. Now I can't go on. I can't even start. I got nothing left, just an empty heart. I'm a soldier, wounded so I must give up the fight. There's nothing more for me. Lead me away. Or leave me lying here. Just as we would not send any of our soldiers to march in other states and tyrannize other people, so will we never allow the armies of others to march into our states and tyrannize our people. Sound the bugle now. Tell them I don't care. There's not a road I know that leads to anywhere. Without a light, I fear that I will stumble in the dark, lay right down, decide not to go on. Then from on high, somewhere in the distance, there's a voice that calls, remember. Follow, so be strong tonight.